Welcome! This video is going to demonstrate how to make a minion in Autodesk Inventor. This model is part of the Higher Graphic Communication CAD Challenges models. To start with, we're going to click on New, then Metric, Standard Millimeters, and then Create. We need to do a new sketch on the bottom work plane. In the centre, I'd like you to draw a circle as 8 to 4 millimetres in diameter. Just zoom out, there we go. We then want to then extrude that up by 72 millimetres. If you add the sizes up in the orthographic drawing, it tells you the size. And then we want to fill it, the bottom edge, by 12 millimetres. Next step is to do a shell. We're going to click on the top surface and make the wall thickness 2 millimetres. Okay, this bit we're going to do a uh, bit for the arms on the dungarees. So we're going to do an offset work plane. Select the top surface and we're going to offset it by minus 5 and then draw on that work plane. Just check it's round the right way. To do the part for the arms, we want to do a diagonal line. Now to put the angle in, hit the tab key and type the angle that's required. We can do the same at the top edge. And then complete the shape. That's important. We can then mirror this shape across because we want the same on the other side. So draw a vertical line down as the mirror line. We can then select mirror. Select the lines you want to mirror across. The vertical line in the centre for the mirror line. And then we have the shapes on the other side. Next step is to extrude these two shapes. Down the way. Subtract the materials. By... 37 millimetres. Remember to make sure the subtract or cut button selected. Now we can hide this work plane to make it easier for us. Right click on work plane in the modeling tree and untick visibility. Next bit is the front of the dungarees, so a new sketch this time on top. Just check it's around the right way. And we can then draw another sort of triangle shape like before. Again, hit the tab key to put the angle in. We're looking for an angle as shown. Just make sure that it's not going to hit the bit you've already removed. We can then repeat ourselves on the other side. Now you could mirror this across if you liked and then complete the shape. We want the same on the top end, so we're going to draw a line through the centre as a mirror line and then mirror the three lines, the triangle shape, across the centre line. There we go. Like before, we're going to extrude these down the way, subtract the material, and we're going to come down by 17 millimetres. Now to complete the dungarees off, we need to use the fillet tool and round all the corners. We're filleting them by 5 millimetres. So you need to carefully rotate round and slide to all the edges. And we have our dungarees as shown. Next part we're going to do is the body. So select in the middle work plane. We can do a new sketch. To see it clear, go up to view and slice graphics. What that'll do is remove the model that's in our way so we can see the paper better. Back to sketch. Now use the project geometry button to select lines that will be helpful for us. So we're going to project the geometry of that model onto our, uh, our work plane, our bit of paper. We can then, from this point here, draw a line up. It will snap to that now by 30 millimetres. The top of the minion's round, so we want to draw a line in by 40 to the right-hand side here. Now we'll give this a centre point of a circle, and we can then draw a circle, like shown. Now we need the line down the centre. We can then use the trim tool to remove the part of the circle we no longer need. And I'm just going to change this horizontal line here by right-clicking on it, into a construction line. There we are, got our profile drawn. We now want to revolve this shape. So select the revolve tool. Shape's already selected. The axis is going to be the middle vertical line and it'll spin the shape round to create the minion's body. So the next part we'll work on is doing the, the strap. For the strap, we want to select our middle work plane, uh, like so. So click on it and then do, pick the pencil. 
We're now going to draw the strap to help us, again, project geometry slightly to the edge of the model here in this horizontal line. And we can then draw a line up the way vertically by the size in the drawing. And then we want to do a horizontal line out to the left by two millimeters, vertical by 10. Now we're going to draw a line across into the model and then close the shape off. So we're going to draw a vertical line down and back to the beginning. We can then select Revolve. And for this one, we're going to use the Y axis and the model and tree as our center. And we are one headband made. Next part we're going to move on to, we're going to make the, the goggles. So we're going to use an offset work plane this time. Select in the middle work plane like shown. We can offset that by 50 millimeters in this direction. We can then draw on that work plane. Now again, we're going to use the project geometry to help us. So we're going to select the top and bottom part of the goggles. We can then draw a line down the center. And that allows us to then draw a circle, which will snap to the green dot. First circle we're going to draw is 38 millimeters in diameter, and then one at 30. We can now extrude that in the way, add the material by 20 millimeters. Now to make it easier to see, we're going to right click on the work plane in the modeling tree and untick visibility. We're now going to repeat ourselves. We're going to do a new sketch on the front of the goggles and draw a circle like shown and extrude that in the way, subtract the materials by 20 and that's going to hide the headband. Now selecting the middle work plane once more, we can then do a new sketch and we're going to focus on doing the eye. Make it easier to see again, we'll go view slice graphics. Using the project geometry button, we can select this line here and that allows us to when we draw a circle for the eye to get the green dot for the centre. Just draw this any size you like. We then can use the trim tool to remove this part and then we're going to revolve this shape once more. The axis is going to be the vertical line. There we are, so that's got the, the eyeball in place. Okay, next step is the pupil. So a new sketch on the front of the goggles once more. And uh, we're going to draw a circle. Now to use the project uh, use the project geometry button to find the center easier and draw a circle any size you like. We can then extrude that in. I'm going to go in by about 15. I'm going to subtract the material away. And we've got eyeball represented there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is the arm. So this is a sweep. Using this work plane, we can draw a new sketch. And we need to find the center of a, a circle, a cur well, curve, I suppose. So use the project geometry button, and we can then draw a line down this way uh, from, uh, from this point, 51 millimeters. That'll give us the center of a circle. We can then draw a circle out 34 millimeters in diameter. Now we'll only need the curved part on the left side of the minion, so I'm going to draw a line just here at the bottom. And that's going to just so I can use that to trim and using the trim button, I can remove this part of the circle. And I can also remove this vertical line. For our sweep, we need to have a profile and a path. So we've got the path, time to draw the profile. So we're going to use the tangent to surface through an edge. So I'm going to select this edge and click it twice. I can then draw on this work plane. Now for this, you might want to go at a slight angle to see it a bit easier. You need to make sure the shape you draw, a circle in this case, starts at the line. So click there, and I'm going to draw 10 millimeters in size. Now I've got the profile and path, I can now use a sweep. So select and sweep. Profile selected, the curves the path, and it drags that circle along the path. Again, we can hide the work plane by right clicking on it in the modeling tree and going to visibility. To do the arm on the other side, we can simply mirror it. Mirrors in the top right ish corner next to the pattern. I want to select the features, so I'm going to select the arm. Just be careful you select the arm carefully in this part and not the whole object, whole minion. The mirror plane is going to be the center work plane, so I can pick that from the modeling tree on the left hand side. 
this line here. That's the one. If I hit OK, it'll mirror the arm across, like so. Okay, we're now going to do the legs. I'm going to do is revolve again for the legs. I'm going to select the centre work plane once more. Now from the centre in the drawing, it tells us that we want to come across 15 millimetres to the centre. We can then go along another 8, down 10, 2.5 to the left, and close the shape up. I'm just going to make this line here a construction line. And I can then revolve that shape using the vertical line as a centre axis. So we can now draw the foot. So do a new sketch on the bottom part. I'm going to I use project geometry to select that circle. That'll be helpful for us. And I'm going to use, I, I'll draw an ellipse for the, the foot. So I'm going to draw a line out. It can be any size you like. I'm doing 15. And using the ellipse button, you'll find that under the circle menu, we can draw an ellipse. For the ellipse, you want to click the center point of the circle. I'm going to click the end point of the line and then the edge of the circle to create the ellipse. I can then use the trim button to remove the part of the ellipse I don't need. I'm just going to change the centre line to a construction line by right, -click, right clicking on it. There we go. And we can then extrude that down by 6 millimetres. There we are. Now for the other leg, we're going to use the mirror tool once more, just like the arm. So you can select the mirror button, which is found under Pattern. You can select the features. Remember, you don't need to click the two things, the foot and the, the revolve. The mirror line, just like before. And we've mirrored it across. Okay, last part of the modelling we've got to do is the mouth. So for this one here, we're going to make a new work plane once more. I'm going to do select the front surface and select the work plane that's parallel to it. So that's that one there. And we can do a new sketch on this work plane. First thing we need to do, I'm going to use project geometry. So I'll get more accurate sizes. From here, I'm going to draw a line down. Come down by 20 millimetres. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line across. Next steps is an arc tool. I'm going to use the centre point arc. So I'm going to take the centre here. So you need to use project geometry to get the centre more accurately. Now the size is 34. Type that where my mouse is and then click and you can move it around and click once more to draw the arc in place. And then use the trim tool to trim away the lines you don't need, leaving the mouth shape. I'm going to turn this vertical line into a construction line. Now the mouse curved. So we can use the fillet button. Uh, I'm just going to click on one line, so the top line and then the curve. The size already in the box is two, which fillets that edge for me. I can do the same on the other side. Next steps is to extrude this in the way, subtract the material. So I'm going to select that surface, uh, that profile, make it go in the way, subtract the material. I'm just going to go in about 10, but you can make it as deep as you like. Again, let's hide this work plane. Right click on it, untick visibility. And we've made a minion. Next step is add some material. So like before, up to tools, over to appearance. We can then search for colors. Let's search for yellow. When they appear, click the arrow to put them onto the top line. And we can then select the surfaces and then right click and assign. You can select more than one surface, hold down the shift key. Like I'm doing just now. And then right click on the yellow and go assign to selection. And there we have our minion. So next steps to render them up to view. To visual style first, make it realistic. Add the shadows and reflections on. And where it says grey room, I'm going to choose in this case, uh, let's go warm light. So that's going to add a nice environment, nice lighting onto it. We can then change orthographic at the top to perspective. And then retrace button. So a nice angle in them first of all. And then the retrace button. When the pop-up window pops up, you can then click on save. Thank you for watching.